the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayan are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi fathir al-samawati wal-ard wa ja'il al-dhulumati wal-nur. Thumma al-ladhina kafaru bi rabbihim ya'adilun. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abdullahi wa rasulu la nabiya ba'dah. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد. And welcome back, my brothers and sisters, to our daily program during the month of Ramadan, our common humanity. We thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى in the beginning and as always, ما شاء الله, we spend. Over half of Ramadan, more than half. Today is our 16 days here in the United States. And I think many of our brothers and sisters around the world already passed half of the month of Ramadan. One thing we need to remind ourselves constantly, always, that the more we feel worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we feel that we are great in our worship ibadat, the more we learn how to be humble. Because shaitan is often playing the game. Shaitan always play the game and try to seduce the people in many ways to be away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So oftentimes as we are spending our life in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fasting in Ramadan, mashallah, doing Qiyamul Layl, reciting Quran, making our tasabih, making our adhkar, shaitan begins to whisper that you are the best. Your worship is the best. And we become like someone who comes to the masjid and always watching others in the worship and begin to judge. All the way he raised his hand in the salat is less sunnah while mine is more sunnah. The way he makes sujood or ruku' less sunnah or mine is more sunnah. My, his ibadat is less, mine is more. Not only in the ibadat brothers and sisters but sometimes in different other forms of you know feelings being better than anyone. Either it is outfit, either it is uh, some things that we consider as a representation of our religiosity and we feel that we are more religious than anyone else. That feeling is a dangerous tendency because it reminds us when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
commanded Iblis Allah, to respect Adam alayhi salatu wassalam, to do sujud to Adam alayhi salatu wassalam, and he rejected it arrogantly. Abba was takbar. He rejected and he became arrogant. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them, ask him, why you don't why you don't want to respect Adam or Iblis? The answer was Ana Khairun Minhu. I am better than him. Of course, this ayah, the ayah that talk about uh, Iblis Allah is about physical creation because he said, Ana Khairun Minhu Khalaqtani min nar wa khalaqtahu min turab. I am, Iblis says, better than him, than Adam, because you created me from the fire while you created Adam from Turab, from the clay. So according to his logic, he is better than Adam. This feeling of being better than anyone else in terms of physical existence is called racism today. So the father of all racists is the Iblis, la'natullah alayhi. But by extension, Iblis also rejected to respect Adam alayhi salatu wassalam because he was in the rank, he was among the angels worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the angel make tasabih, Iblis also make tasbih. When the angel make ruku and sujood every moment, every time, Iblis also did it. So he feel that he was already in the highest rank of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him to respect Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, he responded, who this new guy is. So he rejected to respect Adam alayhi salatu wasalam because of that feeling, Ana khairun minhu, I am better than him. So in this month of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, we really must be careful having that feeling that I am better than anyone else around me simply because my fasting is better, my Qiyamul Layl is better, my recitation of the Quran is more and better and so on and so forth. This is a very dangerous tendency because arrogance is always a danger in our deen. So what is the best to do? The best to do is following Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise the foundation of the Kaaba. To establish foundation of the Kaaba with along with his son Ismail and Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam when he finished it and you can imagine this is the most noble job ever anyone undertaken Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam imagine millions of people are praying facing to the same direction imagine millions of people are doing tawaf around imagine building millions of people are lonely wanted to go they feel kind of missing they wanted to go and do tawab around kaaba al musharrafa ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam raised the foundation of that kaaba that is the nobles the most noble ever job that anyone had been given as the task by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam when he finished it when he completed the raise to raise the the the, the foundation of the kaaba he turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with humbleness, tawadu'a. And he says, Rabbana, taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul alim. Oh Allah, accept from us, because you are all-knowing, all-hearing and all-knowing. Sami'a al-alim. You know what is in my heart. Maybe I have raised the foundation of the Kaaba, but my heart is different. Because my intention is not really pure to seek for your blessing, to seek your pleasure. Maybe because I wanted to be praised. So Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam asked al-qubul, acceptance, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, accept from us, from me, from Ibrahim, and his son Ismail alayhi salatu wassalam. That's what we need to do today, these days, brothers and sisters. Be humble and turn your face up to the heaven, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Rabbana, oh Allah, taqabbal minna. Except from us, suyamana, our fasting, wa qiyamana, our qiyam, our tahajjud, our tarawih, our recitation, our sadaqat, and every act of worship and act of kindness that we do during the month of Ramadan. 
it is not about how much we do. It is about how sincere it is and how correct it is according to the Sunnah, according to the Quran and Sunnah, so that we can be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, there are 14 days to go or 13 days to go. For us Muslims, always we depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkul Allah azza wa jal. The challenge is not easy. Shaitan tried to seduce us and take us away from the right path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But by trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by having faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by strengthening our heart and straightening our intention just to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah, everything will go smooth. And therefore, the message that I would like to deliver today is only one. And that is being humble. Humbleness is a value. Humble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because everything that we do, it is because of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is because of the hidayat. It is because of the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance, lawla an hadan Allah, ma kunna li nahtadiya. We had never been guided. We cannot pray without guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't do fasting without the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we must humble ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must not feel that being superman and superwoman. And we feel that we do everything because of our own ability, our own power, our own strength. No, brothers and sisters, let's be humble enough to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this humbleness, our vertical humbleness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also must be translated into our social connection to one another. So we must learn how to be humble to other human beings around us, to our fellow Muslims, particularly when it comes to the issue of ibad. Do not feel that you are better than anyone else. Because sometime when we come to the masjid, we begin to see people, how they pray, how they do ruku, how they do sujud, and begin, we begin to judge. We are not the judge. The judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The judge is the one who commanded us to do. He's the one who judge either we do it wrong or we do it right. It is our responsibility and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge us accordingly. Brothers and sisters, humbleness, that is the point. That is the message. Be humble and always pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of us, inshallah ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-alim azim wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, get your accredited master's degree today with Bayan in Islamic theology, Islamic leadership, Islamic chaplaincy, or Islamic studies. This top tier institution opens the possibility of studying with renowned faculty members from around the world who are traditionally trained alongside practitioners and academics from prestigious Western institutions and all under one roof. Study each semester for one to two weeks on campus and finish the rest of your coursework online. The students here at Bayam are actually teachers. They taught me a lot. I mean, I, I benefited from the discussion more than I really thought I would. I mean, each person brought a very unique perspective. Join our growing network of students and graduates serving the needs of our communities as imams, leaders, chaplains, scholars, and the educators of tomorrow. Call of Peace, Save Humanity.